We got chickens. So yes, we got chickens. Finally. I feel like we're the only people in the world who didn't have chickens before. But they had been a present for my birthday, which is coming up. And we just felt like it was time to get some chicks. So when I'm filming this right now, we have had them for about 10 days or they're 10 days old. Um, and they're all alive. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but we still feel like we have no idea what we're doing. Um, when we first got them home, we just put them in a cardboard box for a brooder. It wasn't very big. I think it was like like two and a half by two and a half or something like that. Um, and it worked well for like three days and then they grew and they grow so much faster than I had expected. I mean, by day three, they were already like growing their feathers and it's crazy how big they are now. <laughs> so we ended up going and getting a big like Rubbermaid um, container for them, which feels really big, but man, I, there's only 10 days old and I feel like we're going to have to bump them up to something else like in a week or two. Um, but we'll tackle that when we get there. Um, they're doing really good. Um, our next project on the agenda, of course, is to build the coop. So my husband went ahead and built or bought all the materials yesterday and they should be coming in day after tomorrow. Um, just like I'm sure the majority of you watching this, we are all on quarantine and not really supposed to leave our house, um, which I mean, we don't, but, um, so anyway, we have a lot of time on our hands. We are both home. My husband's totally off work and I'm working from home, um, which is still really hard, <laughs> but we're home now. So we have a lot of time. I think he'll really be able to knock it out in not too long, knock on wood, um, but it's going to be a big project. Um, we have six, so I got them from Tractor Supply. Oh, the wind is blowing. I hope it's not too loud. We got them from Tractor Supply, um, and they only had straight runs, which means they were not sexed. So there were females and males in the tub. And they didn't, I, I don't know how it is at your location, but they don't let you like pick them out. They just like scoop them up and put them in the box. I'm sure that depends on who you get, but my lady had no clue about chickens. I asked her so many questions. I asked her what, how old they were. I asked her like a bunch of questions. She knew nothing and she didn't even know like which breeds were which. Like I asked for the Americanas and she was like, which ones are those? And I was like, probably the ones with the sign on them, I hope, maybe. And I ended up Googling it to make sure that there wasn't, anyway, <laughs> she knew nothing about them. So she was not very helpful like I had hoped. Um, when I got them, I was by myself, which was kind of weird because again, we're in quarantine and we didn't want to take the baby out and all that stuff. Um, so I was on my own getting all their stuff, which was weird. But hopefully, right now we have four Americanas and four Orpingtons. I think they're buff or Orpingtons. They didn't specify, but they're yellow, and I think the most common are buff Orpingtons, so that's what I'm imagining they are. We tried to do the wing sexing of them. I know that's not completely reliable. Like, I've heard that not every breed you could do that with. Um, and But I couldn't, there's, it's so hard to find that information on the internet. Like, I thought, all I would have to do is Google, like, can you wing sex Orpingtons or something like that. And I couldn't find anything on whether or not you could. <laughs> so, um, it, if you can, like, what it looks like to us is that we actually ended up with three females and one male of both. Uh, but again, I don't know if it's right or not. We'll find out in a couple more weeks. <laughs> So it'll be cool to look back on this and see what really happened. Um, so I can tell you on whether or not you can or not. So if you have any information on that, please comment down below because I can't find like anything on it. <laughs> um, but before we did that, we were starting to, well, we, I was starting to get anxiety 
because when I was looking it up, everything I read was like, don't be surprised if you get like 70% 70, 70 roosters or something like that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I got like all roosters? <laughs> um, and we had been shooting for six to eight laying hens. Like that's kind of what I, like I, I wanted six. Well, I didn't even, I didn't even want eight. Like I wanted six. I would have been fine with four. Like that was what I really wanted. It's only myself, my husband, my two year old, and we're going to have a newborn in a couple weeks. So we're not going to eat a lot of eggs. And in our area, you don't have a market for eggs. Everyone has their own chickens. Like no one would want, like no one wants to buy them. Um, and <clears throat> if you do, because everyone has them, people are selling them for like a dollar a dozen, um, which, you know, is a good and bad thing. I mean, it's great for customers, but I know that, you know, I, I hear at farmer's markets and stuff like that, it really drops the price of like your great quality, you know, free range organic eggs because people are selling them for next to nothing. But that's a whole nother issue. Long story short with that, we don't really want to get in the business of selling it because there's not a market here. Um, so I'd really only wanted four to six. But then as we were looking more into like the odds of what sex chickens you get from straight runs at big box stores, I was like, oh my gosh, what if we don't have any or what if we only have two and then I already feel like we're kind of running late in the season because it gets so hot here um and they're like realistically they're probably not going to start laying until like like early fall which then the winter will come so I started panicking and I ended up <laughs> we ended up buying some extra ones online um we were there were a lot of options for buying chicks, but my husband <laughs> really wanted leghorns. He really, really wanted leghorns, um, which are pretty much like the stereotypical white egg laying ones that you find in like chicken houses. But he really wanted them, um, probably just because they're such great layers and he's like all about productivity. So we ended up getting six more chicks. <laughs> So two leghorns, which will, I mean, they, like, from what I've read, they could lay, like, two eggs a day, um, which is way too much. But we got them anyway, because he really wanted them. Um, long story short, we could be ending up with, like, 12 laying hens, <laughs> because I panic bought chicks online uh, before we knew the sexes of our current chicks. So we could have a lot. We could potentially, yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot. I'm not sure what we're going to do. So we're, but we're getting a really big coop. <sighs> yeah. Reality is setting in. I don't know what we're going to do with all the eggs. Please leave suggestions for what you do with your extra eggs. But they've been doing really well. They are really active. They are growing and getting their feathers. Um, another thing that I really couldn't, it was hard to find information on, oddly enough, which I feel like everyone in the world has chickens, but I found it surprisingly hard to find like steadfast information. I found a lot of conflicting information. I don't know if you guys have run into that, but like for pretty much every fact I found, there was like a counter argument to that. And it's like, no, that's going to kill your chickens. <laughs> um, so I'm going to share what we did this is not a how-to. I am not recommending what we do because I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't know if it's real information or not. Do your own research, but this is what we did. So we got the heat lamp like you're supposed to, obviously. And um, I heard a lot of conflicting information about when you can start giving them like treats, like real food. Some people say, you know, they like start as soon as you want to and Others are like, no, wait until they're four weeks old and all that stuff. So we got some chick grit and I waited until they were one week old, um, maybe a little bit sooner, maybe like six days, five days, somewhere in that. Cause we don't technically know how old they were when I picked them up. I think they were only one day old, but, um, around that area. Um, and I've got some chicken grit and I just gave them 
for the eight chickens, I gave them like a tablespoon in like a, in a top. Um, and I gave them that at night just to kind of like let them peck at it and explore it and see it. And then the next day I, um, gave them, I think just some chopped up herbs from my garden. Um, just a little bit again, probably like no more than a teaspoon. Um, and they loved it. They knew it was like, they knew exactly what to do with it. So moving forward, um, I had kind of, I've kept kind of giving them just a little bit, um, because again, there is so much conflicting information. I don't want to kill them all. <laughs> so every day I kind of make sure they have a little bit of chick grit. I've heard to keep it on the limited side, um, when they're little, because they might just kind of like eat too much of it, which I don't think hurts them, but I've also read that it prevents them from eating their real food. I don't know. I just make sure a tiny bit is in there at all times. Um, and then right now I'm kind of giving them little treats twice a day. I feed them from my hand so they keep getting used to our hands. Um, and it's working really well. They're all healthy and still alive, <laughs> which is the most important thing. So we'll keep you posted on that. Um, another thing that we've heard conflicting information on is when to start letting them kind of play outside. It's really warm here. Like today it's like in the, like about in the eighties. <laughs> um, so I've heard that you don't want to expose them to soil before they're old enough or you want to like gradually introduce them to soil because of the bacteria might give them, what is it, coccidiosis or something like that. Um, but then I've heard other people be like, no, when the mom raises them, they're out in the soil anyway. And so I don't know. I've been, um, I haven't let them be outside until yesterday and I just took two out to film one of the intros <laughs> so I don't know if I'll keep it in because it was really hard to work with two chicks um and I just kind of put them on clover for just like a minute or two not very much just to kind of feel it out it's nice and warm out here um and they liked it and I hope I didn't kill them because we're not doing medicated feed right now if they do get some kind of illness or I notice you know blood in their poop or something we're definitely treating it like I'm not against medicine but we just don't want to automatically give them medicated feed off of that. So that's kind of what we're doing so far. Um, I don't know if it's right or not, <laughs> um, but uh, we'll keep you posted. And if you have chick advice, please tell me because I could not believe how hard it was to find information on that. <laughs> it's a little weird in here because it's dark and the heat lamp is red and I don't want to turn it off. But I am moving these guys from this original brooder that we had to this big guy. I'm sure during the daylight we will get a better view of it, but it's just a, I think a 40 gallon tub, um, but it's about twice the size of the cardboard box that we had them in, which was perfect for when we got them. We have eight and it really was perfect, but I know they're going to get big very quick and this just seems like a better option. There it goes. So I will be moving them now. Okay, it is the next day, and hopefully you can get a better view of their little, or big, brooder. They are all very happy um, because I just gave them their very first little treats. Um, just a tiny bit. I mean, obviously, different people have different opinions about when you can start giving them treats. And I, I just heard a lot of conflicting stuff, but um, some of the people that I watched on YouTube give start giving treats and grit as soon as they turn like four days old. So these guys are like five or six days old. I'm not sure. The tractor supply people said they had no idea how old they were, um, but I'm assuming they were only a day or so old when I bought them because I bought them right when they got a new shipment. So last night I started giving them a tiny bit of chicken grit or chick grit because you have to give that when you start giving them real food treats. And then um, last night we ate a spaghetti squash for dinner and so I gave them just like barely like a palm full, like really hardly anything, a palm full of um, some of the spaghetti squash and they all really liked it. And they're all really happy. 
And that's all I'm going to give them right now because I do think they're really young, but thought I'd try it. I feel like they've already grown so much in the past four days. I planned on, I don't know, I probably already went over this, but I planned on it being an actual lid, like attaching it to the normal lid and all that stuff, but it just didn't work out and this will have to do for now. But here they are at seven days old. Everyone's alive. And I do clean that, that plank of wood is actually um, like a shelf, like a little shelf um, for like a cube cabinet kind of thing. And it's, even though it's not waterproof, I it's really, really easy to clean. Like all you have to do is wet a paper towel and the poop just like really comes off super, super easy. Um, so I clean that every other day because they obviously muck it up really really bad <laughs> but other than that so far I've cleaned out their coop or their brooder once and then obviously when I put them in the new one they got all new fresh everything so it's really not that bad just on that shelf it gets a little gross just like everyone warns you they get their water and food so dirty <laughs> So that I have to change every day But they're doing really good and we keep hand sanitizer right there and We like the because I have a two-year-old who loves to touch them and he's really gentle with them to hold them, but we get the um, with foaming hand sanitizer so he really loves to play with it <laughs> after the chicken so that is always really good to keep him nice and clean there they are.